Hey, welcome back to another episode of 5 Minute Computer Science. My name is Mr. K and today we're going to follow on from last lesson. Now, last lesson we were looking at what a compiler is, an assembler is, an interpreter is. But how does these stages of compilation work? And you need to understand the word parsing. Syntax analysis, semantic analysis, lexical analysis. And you need to understand what happens with this bit of code and how does it end up becoming the program that executes and works perfectly. So let's put five minutes on the clock and let's make it happen. All right, so let's have a look at how compilers work. Now, compilers actually work using something called stages of compilation. And these are the three stages that you need to be familiar with. Lexical analysis, syntax analysis, and code generation. Let's dive straight in and have a look at each one. So lexical analysis is the idea of taking the code written by the programmer and breaking it down. So you, you see here, sum is identified as an identifier. Equals is an operator. Num1 is a identifier the plus sign is an operator and all the lexical analysis does it just simply replaces these words with the type of command it is and it produces a list of tokens so bear in mind that it takes out the white space strips out the comments it just basically looks for the code and what we've got here is six tokens identifier operator identifier operator identifier separator that's all it's doing at this stage it's just converting those into these words here and passing it on to the syntax analysis. But before it does that, it produces something called a symbol table. So imagine the symbol table for this bit of code here. A equals A plus B. A identifier plus is the operator. B is the identifier equals is the operator. And it does this for every single line of code, every single part of every part of code. So that you can imagine becomes a very large symbol table. So you might want to use something like a hashing algorithm to help you keep track of that. So just a quick reminder, our code has been taken and turned into all of these lines. Okay. Now it's passed on to a syntax analysis. Now syntax analysis is where the stream of tokens identified as part of the earlier slide I've shown you is then check to see if the order in which everything appears makes sense. So you can see over here that if variable is greater than variable, then do this. Well, syntax analysis just checks to see whether this makes a lot of sense. And it does that by converting each of those into numbers. So if becomes a number 10, the variable becomes number 50, greater than and, and a variable and so on and so forth. Okay. Now, all this is doing is checking to see whether this is in the right order. So when you write an if statement, you have an if followed by a variable name, followed by a condition, followed by a variable name. And then if that wasn't in the right order, your syntax analysis would say, hang on a minute, this bit of code can't be executed because it doesn't follow syntax rules. Now, this would typically be in binary, but for the sake of this, ex this uh, slideshow, it's in deanery. So how does this work? Well, the source code is first taken. Lexical analysis is done to check that the code meets the simple rules of identifying the operators and the variables. It then produces a draft token table. This is passed on to the syntax analysis section, which checks to see if the syntax or the order in which the commands have been written makes sense. And then the code is generated. The last bit you need to be familiar with is parsing. So parsing is syntax analysis and syntactic analysis. The bit here that you might want to pause and spend some time looking at is semantic parsing is checking that the actual code makes sense, that the validated expressions actually make sense. That's the key thing. It's looking at the meaning behind the code. Okay. So semantic analysis is the compiler checking to see whether it makes any sense. Whereas syntactic analysis is checking that the order in which something appears is right. So bear that in mind, semantic parsing or semantic analysis is looking at the meaning. Syntactic is looking at the order structure. I'm going to leave you with that. That's been 5 Minute Computer Science. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.